I'm so excited for this. Naturally aspirated V10. You can't beat it. Best noise. Best noise. It's the best. It's it just, yeah, it's just... Yeah, you know, it's, it's more of like a like a like a wah, it's got the, the it's gravel. A it's more of like a wah. Wah, yeah, no, no, I think it's more a little bit more of like a. Okay, yeah, you got the closest. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And that's James. Ah, the California mountains, home of hiking, sunshine, yoga, and screaming Italian supercars. Here's a fun riddle. What car is better for the canyons than a V10 Huracan Evo with 631 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque and a screaming loud exhaust? Time's up, trick question, it's a V10 Huracan Evo with a roof that goes down. And for the privilege of that, you're starting at 287,000 US dollars. And ours today is actually optioned to 360,000 US dollars. That's 10 brand new Miatas. So by that count, it should be pretty life-changing, right? Let's find out. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe and hit the bell. Now I'm normally scared of spiders, but I'm not scared of this one. This is just all excitement, excitement and noise and power. And this time, it's not a rainy Ontario. It's a dry California canyon. Believe me when I say that even though we do this a couple of times a year, it still has a once in a lifetime feel every single time. And I just hope you can experience this through the screen. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's a weapon! Slicing and dicing these roads to bits. Downshift into first. Off the rocks! <laughs> Eight and a half thousand RPM. Oh God, nothing beats that. Nothing beats that. Full stop. Now we've driven the coupe. And we said when we drove it, that the only way to make this better is to have that V10 somehow closer to your heart and your ears. And the way to do that is to have a roof that goes down. And it might take 17 seconds to go down, but this car hits 103.1. And yeah, the visibility leaves you wanting. And when you turn some corners, you gotta do the five facets of dodgeball. You gotta dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge to see where you're going. But that just lends to the experience. have this much power but with that sound and the weight very few cars move like a car like this oh the double clutch transmission in this is so fast lightning quick I was never very good at music at school, but in this, call me maestro. Because it's an orchestra and anyone can play it.
and anyone can drive it. It's easy. The noise in sport mode is sensational and you have this little window in the spider that you can drop at the click of a button and it leaves a little bit more noise just in case there wasn't enough already. Yet the ride in sport mode is compliant. It's controlled. You can drive this for hours and the ride is not punishing. The seats on the other hand, a little bit stiff, but they're bolstered and I feel protected. Although my hairstyle doesn't. And it's not just noise and power and supercar. I'm in a cocoon of technology and Thomas is gonna explain why. Usually at this point in every Lamborghini video, I try and describe one of the cool systems that a Lamborghini has, and I try and explain it with a really bad Italian accent. But James has only given me the amount of time to do that that it takes to put the top down in the Huracan. So I'm just going to say thank you all so much for watching. We love you, and back to the Lamborghini. And now that I'm in a safe space, I can tell you that this has Lamborghini Dinamica Veicolo Integrata. And part of that, and this is a new one for me, it has a Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerciale version 2.0. And that's the part of the system that reads pitch and yaw and steering angle and all the sensors around the car to tell the computer what to do with the rear wheel steering and with the power and with the traction control and the stability control and the all wheel drive system and the magnetic suspension. And the idea behind that, depending on what mode you're in, the car tries to make you feel like a hero, a legend. And it does. All right, what's this thing actually like to drive on a road like this? Well, once your brain is able to process the sound and the wind and the noise, you realize that what you're driving is, it's just a go-kart. It's a go-kart, it's a cliche, but that's what it feels like. The steering is phenomenally accurate. The nose just darts into the corner. The whole car stays rock solidly flat. The all-wheel drive system sorts you out of every scenario you might get yourself into. The throttle, the brakes are predictable and smooth. And the power, oh, it's massive. The pedal feel is good too. Lamborghini have made an unbelievable machine. An unbelievable machine. I could fault this is that it's maybe too good. The Aventador is a little bit more wild and scary. This isn't scary on a road like this. Once you get over the speed and the noise and the g-forces, it's just so well sorted that you're not afraid. And the fact that you're in something that costs $360,000 US, for some reason, you, you stop worrying about that price. You just enjoy it. Don't tell Lamborghini I said that. My face hurts from smiling in this car. It leaves you smiling. And that is the whole point. You know, we're looking forward to trying some EV supercars. But so much of this experience is the sound. And I, I, I'm curious as to how much experience is lost. When you can't hit 8,000 RPM. It's just so damn good at what it does. If you challenged me to get from one side of the canyon to the other as fast as possible, I think I would choose this car out of any car that I have ever driven. It's so competent. <laughs> it's so fast. Oh, look well, at that. You what? made that look like you got out of a normal car. Oh yeah, this is a big space here. But as we know, it's anything but normal because it's incredible. It's absolutely shocking. This, the road, the driving day, the sound, the car, the canyons, the echo, A lot everything. of what we do is new and amazing and surprising. Yep. But this is, this for me so far is the best moment of 2020. I think so, yeah. The, the, the wind and the noise and, and, and the, the car it is truly incredible. Truly incredible car. Do you think it looks the part? I think it does. I think it does. So when the when when this car first came out, I thought it was a little boring, just a little boring looking. What? But yeah, yeah. Like the first Huracan was just a little bit too muted for me. But they've done some stuff to the Evo 
right. that made it look just mad enough to be a Lambo for me. What do you think of the color? This is called Blue Sideris. So it's one of those expensive 14. Oh, the ad personam. Yes, exactly. Blue Sideris. Blue Sideris, yeah. Like, so like we had the Sudeikis. Arantia Zan Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you guys put up with this rubbish. <laughs> But yeah, we had the Arantia Xanto, the orange, and the other Evo. And then the purple was called the Parsifone Viola Persephone. Persephone. Viola. Bio Viola Parsifé. That's the one. That's what it was. Yeah. I got that. This, this is more muted, but I think in the person it looks really, really good. It does. This is metal flake in the paint. It's really, really nice. Complemented by these massive brake calipers, which yeah, are red. Yeah, ceramic disc. It's crazy. Yeah, well, it's the, red, it's the red on the blue is the kind of the vibe they've gone for. I don't know if that's what I would do. Definitely like the oranges. Yeah, like the interior is, I, I do like the red accents, but the coolest part of the interior in this one for me is the, the like this carb exposed forged composites is what they've called it, I the guess. Carbon fiber, yeah. Well, it's not, it's, it's a different, it's a different type of composite, but well, it's this everywhere. Was, this was launched in a crazy green, the Evo Spider. Yeah. Which we don't that, have. Yeah, no, but this is, this is nice. I do like it. It's a very pretty car. And it has the nose lift function, so I was able to get it in this little... That's a function that you need. 4,000 bucks, you've got to do yeah. it. it. it just tag it onto the price of the car. So we do sacrifice some stuff with the Spider, though. For instance, the glass pane showing you the V10 engine is now hidden beneath this, yeah. this compartment. Well, this is a nice it's a nice bit of styling, but no, I can't see my V10. It's no. In there somewhere. Uh, you know, it's worth it. And then obviously got the raised exhaust pipes from the Performante style. Yeah, well, all the Lambos are doing this now. The Aventador had the raised pipes, and this has it as well. Oh, it's cool. I think Love the whole it. thing, the whole package, it's mind blowing. It's pure supercar. And for me, the dimensions and everything about it is so much more livable than the Aventador. Yes, but it's not as crazy as the Aventador. Like in a good way, but I like don't also need crazy. in a bad way. I have crazy when I go home, you know. <laughs> my dog. Yeah, my dog. Is, he's talking about his dog. Yeah. Um, so the interior, we don't need to do a full interior view in this because we've already done it, basically, right? It does have the really cool touch screen, which is really cool until you have to turn the volume down on the radio. The controls aren't as intuitive as you'd want them to be. But like the Alcantara and the seats are very bolstered. They're a little hard. I think they're hard, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah long journeys in them, not so comfortable. But when you're out here, you don't care because you're just, ugh, you're Oh, on, on these road. roads, it's everything. Yeah. All right, I want to continue driving it, please. Okay, let's do it. All right. The reality is, unlike the SVJ, can drive this all day and for the whole week and the whole year especially if you live in California the daily usability of this the excitement of the V10 the roof down a naturally aspirated V10 is a rare thing and if driving on these roads on this day in this car is the last drive I ever do I'd be okay with that. Trust me. <laughs> this is not lost on me. I'm not taking this for granted. V10 top down, deserted California switchbacks. This is the stuff that car dreams are made of. Yes, trust me, I know, it's irresponsible. 10 cylinders blasting up and down here the way the world is, I get it, but just a little longer, please. Just a little longer before everything's EV. I'm gonna buy an EV myself soon. That's the way the world's going and I'm happy about it, I am. But just one last run to 8,000 RPM. One last switchback. One last canyon blast. 